Fred Flintstone's Adventures with Levers. Lift That Load by Mark Weakland. Illustrated by Christian Corny. I'm telling you, Barney, to get ahead in this world, you've got to work smarter, not harder. Using a simple machine such as a wedge, screw, pulley, inclined plane, or wheel and axle is a smart thing to do. So today, I'll show you how to get work done with my favorite simple machine, the lever. Mr. Slate wants these boulders moved. No problem. You and I have two levers with us at all times, Barney. They're called arms. These things? Using my arms to move the rocks would take a lot of effort. Fred Flintstone is smarter than that. Look, Barney, using a lever makes work easier. A lever is the simplest machine of all. It's just a bar, but it's a straight bar that is long and strong. So this log is a lever? You bet. Any tool that pries something loose is a lever. A shovel is a lever that people use to move rocks and soil. Help me out, will you, Barney? Grab that tortoise. Sure, Fred. All levers attach to or rest on a point called a fulcrum. The lever pivots or turns against the fulcrum. A crowbar is a common lever. Workers rotate the bar around a fulcrum to loosen boards. Moving the pivot point closer to the load creates a bigger force on the rock. A bigger force means we can do more work more easily. And the longer the length of the lever, the better. Yabba dabba do. Stand back, guys. A hammer handle is another lever. A short handle exerts a small amount of force, but this long handle creates more force. This rock is now gravel. Barney, even Bam Bam couldn't crack that rock. I bet he could, Fred. A broom is a lever that makes cleaning work easier. Glad we could stop by the barber shop after work. It's full of levers. The chair has a lever, which lets the barber easily lift us. Up we go. The handle of that razor is a lever, too. And the pterosaur is just like a scissors. It has two levers, its feet and its beak. Hey, not too much off the top, buddy. Scissors are a type of lever. The handles and blades attach in the middle at the fulcrum. Levers aren't just found at the barber shop. This seesaw is a lever, too. Since I'm heavier than pebbles, I'll move the fulcrum toward me. When I sit down, I'll lift the load on the other end. That's you, pebbles. Whee! Come to Papa! Mommy asked us to pick up dinner, Pebbles. Let's catch tonight's meal with a lever, my fishing rod. My hands rotate the rod which makes this point the fulcrum. The load is at the tip. Look! What a whopper! On a fishing pole, the effort is between the fulcrum and the load. Did you know a bottle opener is a lever, Wilma? I use a lever to remove the soda bottle cap. First, I exert an input force. That means I pull up on the opener. The lever then exerts an output force. Off comes the top. You really do love levers, Fred. A bottle opener is a lever. Force lifts the load, which is the cap. Look at that, Wilma. Pebbles and Bam Bam are little lever experts. Their catapult is a type of lever. It has a fulcrum, an input force, and a load. When Bam Bam applies a force, 
he can send a load flying. Those poor cavemen. It's good to see you using levers, Wilma. Knives are a type of lever. So are salad tongs. The tongs are two levers joined at an end fulcrum. Spoons and forks are also levers. Don't you just love simple machines, honey? Sure, Fred. In a kitchen, levers are used for dishing up food and for eating. I love levers. They make life easier. They lift us up and down on the playground and help us when we make dinner. Best of all, they lift loads of delicious food into my mouth. Yabba dabba yum. Thank <laughs> you.